welcome back to my youtube channel my name is dora this one is called dear dora and as you can see by the title i'm going to be sharing with you how the ugandan favorite <laughs> insects called ensenene are prepared and how they are and how they taste yeah and how they taste um i'm just super super excited <laughs> okay so as we go through the entire process i'm going to be telling you a little information i know about these insects that come to our country once every single year so we just have to consume them <laughs> subscribe so you do not miss out and watch to the end and uh, let's go through the process right away One thing about them is that they attract a lot of other very small insects here yeah, so if you are going to sort them or prepare them best you do it outside the house so you do not have to struggle with those small insects so here they are I'm going to prepare putting them here I have to remove the parts that are not edible <laughs> yeah of course I have to remove the legs I have to remove this very long tail let's call it a tail and then I have to remove the feathers you are not flying when I'm about to chew you <laughs> so I also have to remove the feathers like to make the process easier i will have to use ash yeah that is what i know and ash just makes it easy for you to pluck them off without destroying it or without <laughs> or okongola ensenene as it's locally known in my country is one of the hardest process about preparing these snacks however right now there are few people that are employed purposely to help us is the process and those grasshoppers the naked ones yeah come at a higher price compared when you get them when they have all their body parts yeah <laughs> Let's go and cook. Let's go and prepare our senene. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. And first step, let us first wash them. Of course, after washing them, we start with the process. I'm going to make a very simple one, not complicated. <laughs> yeah, that is what we are going to be doing. Oh, 
washing them is an important step number one we don't know where they are from so we need to wash off every single that and because i used ash to make the plucking process easier i need to wash them thoroughly very well it tastes very very bad if you do not find them clean in your mouth so I had to go extra and make sure I do not squeeze out the fats in them because they work as oil during the cooking process delicious you can just tell and so many people are trying out the creative part of making them into burgers and pizza i trust me insane in it tastes different when it's just alone in your mouth alone in your mouth Thank you so much guys for watching up to the very end and this is our final recipe and it looks super super amazing I don't know how best I can describe how it tastes I don't know <laughs> I don't know I haven't tasted anything that is close to this ever in my life Senine will always give you its different unique flavor in the mouth so try it out to be able to tell what it tastes like but I'm proud of my cooking skills. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other content. I love you so much. Take good care and bye!